Hi everyone, welcome to Intro to Jewelry. Um, we're going to get started in our first class working. We're going to start with sawing and we're going to be cutting some basic shapes. We need to do a little practice work first uh, to prepare for soldering, to learn how to solder. So we're going to cut six shapes uh, from sheet metal. And we're going to do that by using a jeweler's saw. And the three basic solder joints are a butt solder, which is two pieces of metal butted edge to edge, a perpendicular solder joint, which is one piece of metal standing upright on top of another, and a sweat joint, which is one piece of metal soldered on top of the other. So all total will need six shapes. Uh, they can be geometric, they can be freeform, either or. Um, if you can kind of get an idea of the size of these pieces, I would say, you know, keep them about the size of these. You don't want to be too large, you don't want to be too small. It makes soldering more difficult. Um, I'm using a combination of copper and brass only because I love color contrast. And I usually, in most of my pieces, will have a lot of color contrast using different metals. Um, now for the butt joint, these two pieces must be the same gauge. Gauge is the thickness of the metal. I'll go over that in class. Otherwise, if they're not the same gauge, you'll have a ledge right here at that solder joint. So they must be the same gauge. And these two edges must fit together perfectly. Uh, now for a butt joint, you can also, you can have your pieces aligned like so, or they can be asymmetrical like so. Either is acceptable. Um, for the sweat joint, these two pieces of metal can be of different gauges, doesn't matter. Uh, what the gauges are. They don't have to match. And your options are you can have a piece of metal that actually just goes off the piece like this. doesn't have to be totally on there. Or your top piece can be completely on the bottom piece. Either is acceptable. And for the perpendicular these can also be two different gauges. They don't have to be the same. Uh, what's important here is that the bottom edge of the top piece is perfectly straight and that the bottom piece is perfectly flat. I'll go over flattening after sawing. And for the butt, both pieces must be flat and those seams on the edge must be perfectly straight. For the sweat joint, both pieces must be perfectly flat. All right, so we're going to proceed to the next step, which is sawing. And I'll mention in that video that a lot of times students will ask me, why do we have to saw? Uh, because my answer is because you'll never get as clean and neat a cut if you use a pair of shears. Um, everybody's looking to use shears because it might be faster, probably is faster and easier. But you won't get a nice clean cut and there's no way you would cut these curves uh, with a shear or even curves like this. You can't get that with a shear. And the other problem with shears, I don't know if you can see this, is that they usually leave a nice bend or the crimp on the edge of the metal. So that can be I don't know if you can see that. I'll show it in person, but that can be problematic. So good reason for using a jeweler's saw. Um, okay, I think that's about it for now. Uh, we'll get through this part and the next video is, we'll get you going with sawing. And then the following video will be filing and emerying. All right, guys.